Hello and welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. And today we have the Tokinoka whiskey on the cask from the White Oak Distillery. The distillery is a small Japanese whiskey on the south coast of the main island and it's it's not the, the very, very south coast where Hiroshima is, but it's in Akashi, which is like a, a connecting city to the city of uh, Kobe, which is kind of a, a, a strip of cities, Kobe, Osaka and Kyoto. They are kind of very close together and they are, yeah, metropolis. That is just a, a big metropolitan area with all these cities together. So they come from Akashi and they're at the very, very south side of Akashi and they're near the sea. And that is where this small distillery lies. They have pretty old, pretty small stills and they are dedicated to making the whiskey in the old traditional way. And this is one of their um, blend whiskey expressions. And when we hear blend, we think Johnny Walker and Johnny Walker sources different whiskies from different distilleries and blends them together and then it's called a blend. This is not the case here. Here they have a different understanding of blending. When they talk about blend, they uh, talk about a blended whiskey for them is you take a grain and a malt whiskey and you mix them together, you get a blended whiskey. Uh, in the contrast, you have single malt and single grain. These are the two extremes where you don't mix them together. So this is a blend and there are some some information out there. I don't fully trust this information that this is 75% malt and 25% grain. I'm saying that it's not 100% uh, true information because usually we get the information from the suppliers and they don't lie to us. They want to promote their product and tell us what is inside their product. So the Tokinoka is a Japanese word. And when you put it into Google uh, Google Translate, you get something like uh, the fragrance of incense or something like that. And uh, what you actually translate it to is the fragrance of time. So they they want to, to capture the, the aromas, the fragrances inside a bottle over the time. So it's, it's a nice name, but um, yeah. That's it. So um, we know it's from a small distillery, the small distillery of White Oak, but we don't know that much of the whiskey because it's not written here on on the label. What is this this whiskey all about? So it's it's just a, a blended whiskey from a small Japanese distillery. And the bottles is kind of look a bit like uh, an old medicine bottle. So. It's uh, only 05 with uh, a screw cap on top. Mm -hmm. And it has, has something to stop the, the leakage in the top. So let's have a look if, if we have a uh, uh, a whiskey that you can smell the malt from or if you can smell the grain from that should be should be obvious oh it's it's a mixture of a freshness also with wood and there's a distinct note of of wood and and I would say forest in there. Hmm, how is that? I know that. It's a bit of a a pine flavor. If you've given me this in a blind tasting, I would probably said a, a very mild rye, but it's it's got some spiciness in it, but not in a very demanding way but in a pleasant way although it's it's not very not very sweet 
some subtle flowers in there, some subtle ah, very subtle berries in there. So a little freshness. mouth I would have said a lighter a lighter style whiskey when you swallow it you do got we got some good good notes of flavor and I would say the malt parts are definitely there they are the major parts mm, but you do realize there is a bit of grain in there so you do get that what I think is a bit of a, a flat note of grain which also I found it's not that demanding. It's it's a, a nice, well-rounded, balanced whiskey. Mm, got a bit of freshness, like nah, it's not citrus, maybe oranges a bit in there, but very, very subtle, with a, a good amount of, amount of oak, woke, uh, oak, white oak, <laughs> and uh, some other wood notes. I would say the first note that I had in the nose gets carried in a light way into the into the taste. Mm. 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 It got forty percent ABV and it's it's light. It's not smooth so you don't you have the ABV and you don't taste it, but you realize it's light. 40 ABV is, has a certain amount of flavor that it carries, and it carries it well. It's a, it's a well-balanced light whiskey that I would say it's a, it's a beginner's type for, for a Japanese whiskey. If you want to get into Japanese whiskey, it's a, it's a light drinking whiskey that you can enjoy with friends or just um, try to get into the Japanese whiskey and realize that how they the Japanese whiskey look at whiskies because I would say they they made a very balanced whiskey that is missing a bit of the sweetness so you, you have all the flavors there but it's it's not demandingly sweet so that is what I would categorize this whiskey yeah Thank you very much for watching. If you'd like to know more about the White Oak Whisk uh, Distillery, there is a video um, on our YouTube channel and on whiskey.com where you find all the um, production methods and how they, uh, how they work at the White Oak Distillery. And there is an interview with the master distiller, although he didn't speak English, so I had a translator present there. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.